stop. Stop the f***ing madness that is the Jacob deGrom and Noah Syndergaard trade rumors. Stop it right now. I feel like I normally do an intro for these kind of videos. So I'd tell you who I am, tell you to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I guess I kind of just did it. But this is a rant, as you guys can probably tell. As a Met fan, when I see rumors about Jacob deGrom and Noah Syndergaard being on the trade market, possibly being available listening to offers, it absolutely blows my f***ing mind and for those of you who don't like cursing i'm sorry i'm gonna bleep them out but there's gonna be a lot of f***ing bleeps because this is just being a met fan for 22 years realistically probably 16 17 of what i can actually remember this is some of the dumbest shit i've ever seen them do or even remotely talk about doing so for those of you who don't know the Mets are terrible this year. They're horrible. They're led by a weak manager in Mickey Calloway, who really is way overmatched as a manager. He's, he's a great pitching coach. He's done great things with our starting pitching. The bullpen, horrendous. Absolutely horrible. Let's not go into that yet. That's a little further down the line. But we've got a bad manager. We've got just some of the worst hitters in the league. I mean, just some of the approaches that our guys take at the plate is unbelievable. It's You, you question if they've ever played baseball before. We've got no bullpen. The bullpen is just... Pfft. Bullpen's bad. We're led by an ownership group, the Wilpons, who, if you could fire an owner, they would be fired because they are horrendous. But the Wilpons refuse to spend any money. They want to treat New York, the New York Mets like they're a small market team because they got hurt in the Madoff Ponzi scheme. And they've just not spent any money. And when they do decide to spend money, boy, do they f*** it up royally. They don't get the right guys. I mean, over this, just this past year, just take a look at some of the guys that we've gotten. Now, I did not think Jay Bruce was going to be a bad player, so I'm not going to include him on this list. I thought he was going to play well. He's played like shit. Jason Vargas. So that, just let that sit in. Jason Vargas got a two-year contract. Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier got paid more than Mike Moustakis. Just saying. Let's re-sign Jose Reyes. Okay. Jose Reyes. Nice. I like Adrian Gonzalez, but let's be honest. That's not a signing that gets anyone excited. Jose Bautista. Jose Bautista. So we currently have signed two guys that the Braves cut this year, and we pay them a veteran minimum because the Braves are paying their contracts. Anthony Swarzak, he's been just a ray of sunshine. It's been an absolute disaster for the Mets this year. 11-1 to start the season, and then I think the other day I tweeted this out, since going 11-1, there's something like 20-44. and 44. I, How? How does that even happen? How do you play such good baseball and then go 20 and 44? Now, yes, injuries are part of it. There's definitely some injuries that have happened. Cespedes is down. Syndergaard's down. So those are two big guys to miss. But holy crap, this team is a joke. So let's go into why you don't trade Jacob deGrom and Noah Syndergaard. You don't go full rebuild mode because there's no need to fucking rebuild. This is really simple. This is this is so simple. It's, uh, it's honestly almost too simple. You know what the Mets can do? The Mets can keep these guys. They can keep Syndergaard. They can keep DeGrom. If you're going to trade someone, you either trade Wheeler, Matz, Lugo, or Gesellman. Those are one of the four guys that you trade. You get rid of Todd Frazier. You trade as Drupal Cabrera because right now he does have some worth, but you trade him because he's not the future. You trade him to a team that's maybe going to get us some prospects. And I know I don't typically like trading for prospects, and that's one of the main reasons why I don't want to trade DeGrom and Syndergaard. But Cabrera's old. He's gone. He's not going to be here when we become successful again, if that ever happens, because, I mean, it is the Mets. It's very possible we're never good again. You get a first baseman because Dominic Smith is horrible, Dominic Smith is bad, or you call up Peter Alonzo. Give the kid a shot. He has been killing it in the minors. Ahmed Rosario, you're lucky you're so young because you're really not playing that great, and honestly, you get just a little bit more of a chance to prove yourself, but honestly, it might not even be your fault. It might just be the classic Mets overhyping a prospect like they did with Dominic Smith, like they did with Lastings Millage, like they did with Craig Brazell, like they did with Eddie Coons, like they did with Fernando f***ing Martinez. And you just might not be as good as they made you out to be. You might be just on an on a all-star team like the Yankees, the Red Sox. You're a phenomenal shortstop. But on the Mets right now where nobody's hitting, you really get exposed. The outfield is actually pretty good still. You've got Conforto who is struggling, but if you've watched him over the last couple weeks, his at-bats are becoming better. He just needs to start going opposite field more. Pat Rossler, hitting coach, needs to get the f*** out of there, too. He's done a horrible job as well. This it team's a mess. Brandon Nimmo, holy crap, where did he come from? He's been incredible. And you still technically have Yohannes Cespedes on the DL, but for the purpose of this video, let's just pretend like Cespedes is gone, and Jay Bruce is gone. So here's what you got to build around right now. Oh, don't even get me started with the catching situation. I like Mesoraco. He catches a great game, but God, he offers nothing offensively which on a team with great hitters is okay, but right now the Mets have no hitters. So here's what the Mets do. You don't trade Syndergaard and you don't take trade the Grom. Those are guys you build around. You don't need to trade them. You have five or six starting pitchers that are pretty solid right now, two of which 
are elite in Syndergaard and DeGrom. DeGrom, arguably one of the best pitchers this year, top five in baseball regardless. Syndergaard, who when you know is healthy, is uh, is pretty ridiculous. Steven Matz has improved massively. Zach Wheeler's improved massively. Seth Lugo is a nice five starter. And you got Kasselman who's dominating in the bullpen, although he's been a little sketchy the last few days. But he could be a starter too. But you have two guys who would be number ones on most teams and you're thinking about trading both of them? Why? To rebuild? Here's what you do, Mets. Ready? I told you guys to get rid of. Spend some money. You have a huge free agency co class coming up. Spend some money. I know we're not going to get Machado. I know we're not going to get Harper. Because honestly, that's just nothing. The Mets don't do that. You know what happened the last time Mets did it? They are actually pretty successful when they got Beltran, Delgado, Pedro Martinez. But hey, why would you want to repeat history and make it back to the NLCS, right? But the free agency class is so deep next year. You can get so many good players. And enough of this on-base percentage bullshit. I want guys that can hit. I'm tired of getting nice guys. I'm tired of getting guys that walk. Yes, I'm talking about Todd Frazier. God, does he... I don't care how nice of a guy he is. He does not produce on the field. And I don't care. Oh, he's been hitting the ball hard outs. You know what hard outs count as in the book? Nothing. It's still an out. I don't care how hard you hit it. Play baseball. I don't give a shit if you are a horrible bird. I don't care if you yell at kids on the field. You're like, ah, shut up, kids. You're being loud. If you perform, Barry Bonds performed every day. He's one of the biggest assholes to ever play. A-Rod was considered an asshole. One of the best players to ever play. Now, granted, both of those guys I just named are rumored to have taken steroids, and one of them has been caught. But those guys produced. You need guys that produce. I'm tired of getting clubhouse guys. Because Todd Frazier hitting two, 205, 210, whatever he's doing, I don't care about his 300 on base percentage. He's the middle of the lineup guy. Congratulations, you just walked for... You ready for the who hits in the bottom half of the lineup for the Mets? Because this is who he's walking for to try to drive him in. Ahmed Rosario, Devin Mezzarocco, Dominic Smith. Oh, the pitcher hits at the bottom of the lineup too. Jose Bautista, I mean, these guys are washed. Did I say Ahmed Rosario? He's not driving in runs either. So there you go. He walks for the bottom of the lineup. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. On base percentage is the only thing that matters. Batting average doesn't matter, right? I'm sorry. You're an idiot if you believe that. And wait, let me get, let me just, let me get ready. Because I see you sabermetrics typing down there being like, uh, batting average. Nobody even cares about batting average anymore. You are a nerd who never played baseball. I'm getting sick and tired of people saying batting average doesn't matter. You are a nerd who never played baseball. I'm getting a little bit mean here, but it's true. You're one of those guys who loved baseball. And I love that you love baseball, but please don't ruin the sport. Saying batting average doesn't matter is insane. And they go, well, it doesn't wait. It doesn't wait the different kind of hits. You know what you can do? You can look at other stats too. Batting average. All right, let me see how many home runs, doubles, triples he's hit this year. Oh, Wow! So he's hit 40 home runs and hit 300? That's incredible! He's having a great season! I don't need to see anything else! He's having a great year! You know what I see with Todd Frazier? I see 200 average at 9 home runs. Get better, dude. Get better. And you know what? Maybe I'm being harsh on Todd Frazier. It's not his fault. I know he's going out there and playing hard every single day, but he's not good. He's not good. And he was brought in as the fix at third base? Are you kidding me? So go out and spend money. Go get me someone like Yasmani Grandal behind the dish who's a free agent next year. Go get me someone to play the infield. Go get me DJ LeMahieu to play second place. Brian Dozier. In the outfield, go get me Adam Jones. AJ Pollock. Get me some players that are actually going to produce because I'm so sick and tired of the Mets looking for these bargain deals, trying to get guys on the low low because they're just too damn cheap to spend any money. In New York, the biggest market in sports. Go spend some money. God, if you got friggin' Manny Machado or Bryce Harper next year, I would lose my mind. I think my brain would explode because I can't even slightly fathom the Mets even thinking about just talk, just even thinking about going after them. Then you got all these reporters going, well, you know, when you do think about it, they should trade Jacob deGrom and Noah Syndergaard, get some prospects and start a full rebuild. Why? You have an outfield that's set and that's Get rid of his Cespedes, get a nice center fielder in free agency, because there's a ton of them. Infield, you have to address. But you know what? You can trade Ezra Cabrera, get maybe somebody, uh, some prospects to bring up. You can go sign some players on free agency. That's a thing. We can use free agency next year to get some players. If you want to trade a pitcher, it better damn well not be one of these two. They're too good. But you got guys like Joel Sherman, a Yankee fan, John Heyman, who I hate more and more as the day goes on, saying dumb shit like, oh, let's, they should do it. They should go get prospects, trade them to the Yankees. Oh, I'm a Yankee fan, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Maybe I'm being ridiculous, but I'm just sick and tired of seeing the rumors because if the Mets actually do trade him, which that idiot Rico said they're thinking about, I seriously don't know what I'm going to do. I seriously don't know what I'm going to do. I can promise you I won't be watching a single Mets game the rest of the year if they trade one of those two guys. It's not happening. I'm at the point this year where I might not go to a Mets game. That's never happened in my life that I can remember. I think I went to my first Mets game when I was either three or four against the Pittsburgh Pirates my dad brought me to. And every year since then, I've seen the Mets play. This might be the first year I won't. And if they trade Syndergaard and DeGrom, 
Not a shot in hell I'm going to a game. Not a shot in hell I'm watching them on TV the rest of the year. So New York Mets, we're the lovable losers, right? Stop with that f***ing attitude. Spend some money. Go be the Yankees, please. For once, I'm going to say something positive about the Yankees. They go out and get their shit done. So go be like the Yankees. Spend money. Stop being cheap. And hopefully this is the last I have to talk about it. Because if the next video about this topic that I have to make is DeGrom or Syndergaard being traded, oh, you guys are going to be in for a good one. That's all. Back to grinding for Johnny Bench and more Mike Piazza. Oh, and I'll be streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash draftdeckmark if you made it this far in the video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Woo, I got to calm down. I'm hot. Bye.